and I was excited and I left that courthouse and a lady came to me and she said, Dr. Franklin, what have you given us, a republic or a monarchy? And I said, a republic, ma'am, if you can keep it. And I grieve to think that what we gave you with our lives, our fortune, and our sacred honor was something that you would not cherish and that you would not keep. And so I ask you today as I close, please remember that you and only you have the power, we the people, to rise up and regain the republic that we gave you. Only you can do it. Because as I said to George Washington on that day, as we were beginning to sign that Constitution, or before we did, when we were arguing and fighting, I said, Sir, I have lived long, and the longer I live, the more convincing proofs that I see that God governs in the affairs of men, and that if He can see the sparrow fall, and He can get us through this great war for independence, surely He can preserve this country. Will you not let God turn His back on us? Will you stand up and defend the country that we gave you? We the people, the preamble to the Constitution, I'm going to ask all of you to join me, please, and as we do it, I will leave this stage and hope and pray that you will let God govern in the affairs of this great country. We the, we people, the people of, of the, the United, United States, States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty for ourselves and our posterity to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. May God bless you all and may God bless the United States.